Hey guys, I'm at the Floyd County Museum in Charles City, Iowa. Can't go to an Oliver show without going to the Oliver Museum. No, you gotta go there. And we've been here, I think it was 2017, so five years ago, but uh, the Oliver show is in Forest City. So we're gonna check that out later this weekend. All right, so this thing is from Sherry Schaefer's father's auction. I think he died like last year, or at least the auction was last year. And if I remember right, I remember from Facebook posts that the team was gonna try and buy this and bring it to the Foy County Museum. So obviously they succeeded and here it is. This was used in the Nebraska tractor tests. Is it all over? As you can see. And it was for dynoing tractors or testing tractors. That is quite unique. It says Oliver 880 on the air cleaner, but I don't know what this is. 880s didn't have these grills, 770s did. But it's hard to say what this thing actually is. If you look in here, there's a tank. Oh look, it's got a cup like I got. A coffee cup. I didn't know the cups were that old. Ah. Yeah, you sit you sit looking that way. You see the seats. That power steering. So Ollie Schaefer owned own this thing. So it's really cool that they got it here. This is kind of where it belongs. It's in a museum. No doubt it's one of a kind. Look at that Oliver Dash. The checkerboard series, 100 series. And there's gauges for certain things. It's pretty cool. Here, I think, is a, is a hard power washer. Yeah, hard power washing machine. Made them in 1924 or 1927. Here's a, it's called hard part number one. It's a scale model built by Roland Endelman. Started the project in 2001 and finished it in the summer of 2003, 100 years after the original was built. Roland worked at the Oliver White plant in Charles City for 39 years. So this is a scale model. Here's a big guy. That guy's big, you can see. I stand by it, how big it is. It's quite big. The hard part 2040. It's a very big steam engine again, but this one's got a front wheel, a single front wheel on the front. Or this one's got two, like a wide front. Here is a marine transmission from a World War II landing craft. Oliver's Charles City plant produced several hundred transmissions for the landing crafts used during World War II in the Normandy and other invasions. That's pretty cool. I think it's cast iron outside. Feels like it. This next one's a heart part little devil. 
or 12.55. I believe they recalled these and this one made it through. And they recalled them because to put this in reverse, we either had to back up the transmission when it was running low or reverse the engine speed. Sometimes when it would reverse the engine speed, it would it would it would start it would go in reverse when they didn't want it to. So they were recalled. Otherwise, you sit on the side here, and it's got one rear wheel, which is odd. There's an ad for it. Runs on kerosene. Offset tractor. Here's a Hartpar 70. You can see that this has the wider fenders here. Those got carried into the Oliver 70s. The Hart car Oliver 70 and then Oliver 70, the early ones. And then later they went to these different type, like a 60 fender more. Seventies were named after the seventy octane that they burned. Here's the Oliver, the Oliver plow. I walk behind plow. And then here is looks to me like a Minneapolis Moline. No, it's got EP numbers, it's an Oliver. That's an odd one. Well, I think Oliver made them for many. This is Oliver right here. No, I'm thinking it's an Oliver Paul then. There's a little Oliver walk behind the Oliver. And here's Oliver Pony Plow built by Oliver Chilled Plow Works. This plow has never been used. And Jurassic Park outside. This is an experimental A4T transmission. There's a book here showing what it's about. Philip Fett found these two transmissions and drop boxes in the backyard of O'Brien County Implement at Sheldon, Iowa. They mark experimental number two and, and number three and the serial number tags. And that's pretty cool. Yep, here's experimental three right here. Here's, here's number two. It's hard to see that. It says number, test number two. This also says Minneapolis Moline. Well, they said it's been a pretty busy day today. So I'm sure the Oliver show is bringing in a lot of people. I've never seen so many people here. I've not been here, this is the third time I believe. And there's quite a few people in there. Well for five bucks for an adult, I mean that's cheap for a museum. Here's a little corn and cotton planter. Oliver number 6A. That's pretty cool, don't see them very often. Dave, look at the, th the three beauties. Yeah. I heard that the one on the right's uh, pretty feisty in the bedroom. <laughs> the 88, you know? Yeah, it must be because that's the most powerful tractor, I guess. I don't know. You were thinking about the woman. 
I was thinking about the tractor. I was too. <laughs> <laughs> Here's an Oliver 99 old style. So we have at home the the four speed styled model. So it would be the same rear end, but it changed the front. So it's got the fleet line styling like this. But four speed back end. Same weights. So yeah, very very similar. They added a, a pod on the steering column for the <coughs> the gauges. But similar. This is the same too, I think. Only thing is that that one's more open here. It's got the fuel tank outside like this, but it's this is open. Here is an 88 with a number four picker. It's a mounted picker. So biggest thing with these is you can just just go and you don't have to constantly looking back. You can just look ahead. The biggest issue is just getting on this thing. How do you get on it? It's 1948 with a 1958 picker. So the horn would come up, come up here on both sides, a two row, and then the, the cobs would yeah. Go in on the conveyor there. Nope. And they get conveyed up into the bin. And then it would go up into the wagon. And I think you could get a, another one that would take the husk off. You get a, an option for it. So here'd be like the all the waste coming out. Here's a superior grain drill and all of our chilled plows. Be uh, plows over there, talking about. In 1929, the Hart Power Company merged with Oliver Chilled Plow of South Bend, Indiana, American Seeding of Springfield, Ohio, and Nichols and Shepard of Battle Creek, Michigan. These four companies became known as the Oliver Corporation, headquartered in Chicago, Illinois. Tractor production for the Oliver Corporation was based at the old hard car plant in Charles City. This superior grain drill was made by the American Seeding Company of Springfield, Ohio, prior to 1929. The Oliver plows were produced at the Oliver Chill Plow Works in South Bend, Indiana, prior to 29. So you look at this thing, this is wood. It's got wood covers, wood, basically the whole thing. Wood wheels, steel outer rim. And here it says, you know, fertilizer grain drill, manufactured by the American Seeding Machine Company, Inc., Springfield, Ohio. Little rod in here. Now I do believe that I have one just like this. I'll have to show it to you. Or it's similar, it says superior on it. So it's probably before Oliver bottom. This is an old grain drill, superior. And I don't know if this was during the time before Oliver bought them or after they bought them. They just didn't get their name on yet. This is an old guy, it's got wood. You know, this is all wood here. And the back part is wood. Uh, wood wheels with a steel ring. Let's see what you can see here. Manufactured by American Seeding Machine Company. Inc. Superior Division, Springfield, Ohio. This is an Oliver White tractor plant switchboard. The switchboard was in use at White Farm Equipment Company for 28 years after being installed at the former Oliver Corporation on October 25th, 1948. It was located in the reception room at the general office on Lawyer Street. It provided 
interplant dialing and until the city had dial telephones, all long distance calls were replaced through it by the Oliver operator. And there's some more if you want to read it. So it's an original switchboard, that's pretty cool. Here's an Oliver 77. That's pretty nice. It would be the 51. Uh, you can tell by the brake pedals, kind of what year it is. It's got band brakes. The seat, a lot of times the seats are hard to tell because uh, they'll, you know, they'll break and they'll put newer ones on or whatever. It's so like looking at this seat. See, it's got the bars going around it. And it's got the like that thing. Here's the newer style, where it's got a shorter arm to mount it, and it's more built internally, kind of. It's got the wider brake pedals, so this is a newer one. Let's see what it says for a year. Um, doesn't say, but it's got to be a newer one. Here's a 66. Here's an Oliver Mighty Toe 25. It's basically an Oliver 70 standard. It looks pretty much like an industrial 70. That is a pretty unique tractor. The pan down there with litter in it. They must have a lot of cats around here. That are oil leaks, huh? <laughs> Here's a white 120. Here's a 1948. Model Oliver 900 Industrial. Those are not very common. Aside from here, I don't think I've ever seen one in person. Look at the weight on that thing. Here's a white yard boss T110. Here's an Oliver 550. This would be like an industrial because it's yellow. I think the only difference in the industrials is the non adjustable axle. Don't have the holes in, so you can adjust it. But I'm not sure on that, but I think that's one change. Otherwise, they're real close to the same as the regular one. Here's a book with pictures of it. What makes this tractor special to me is I helped build this very tractor in 67 at the Charles City plant in 67. I worked at the plant from 56 through 79. So this 550 may be the only one built to this spec and restored in the world. Then it's got, uh, you know, what it looked like before. And your typical, you know, work clothes. And then it goes to restoring it. It's always nice to include that type of stuff so you can see what it looked like before. It's really a really nice job restoring it. It's sharp. Here's a 770 propane. To be the old style 770. 
propane was like a cleaner burning engine. Yeah, but you had to fill, you know, fill that tank up with typical propane LP lines. But that's a pretty unique tractor. Here's a very large piston. Here's another good picture of the Charles City plant. Like a parking lot there and then it's that whole thing. You can see a train track right here. Goes along. So a lot of those tractors were shipped on train. There's that 550. This is local man rebuild to Oliver Tractor. He once helped assemble. And this is an article from was featured in Oliver Heritage magazine. Reprinted with permission from the Charles City Press. The Oliverettes were formed in, in late summer of 59 as an entertainment feature for the Oliver Tractor Fair held in McElroy Auditorium at the Cattle Congress grounds in Waterloo, Iowa, November to December of 59. And there's, here's a replica of the Olivet costume. There's a bench that somebody painted like an Oliver. Here we got an Oliver outboard motor. They made outboard motors for a while. Different uh, horsepowers. Here's a World War One nine-inch shell casing made for England. You can see how big it is by my hand. Picture of the view of the Hart Power shell shop. It's another as a commander, Oliver commander. Outboard with a five and a half, five fifteen and thirty five horse motors built at the Battle Creek plant. Here's a sixteen fifty five Oliver. Nicely restored. It's got that canopy. Or wraps, rollover protection. This would be after White took them over. White bottom in 60. Now this is the, it's called the corporate tractor. The last time we were here five years ago, they only had the engine and that. Now they've been piecing it together. It's Advanced Products Division of White Motor Corp. You can see on the tag, property of White Motor Corp, Advanced Products Division. much inside but it looks like they found a dash for it. All oh, that corporate tractor. An ongoing project. Got the tank up here. That's what it looks like, or would look like. What's this? Look up. Plant whistle recovered from the Charles City plant. Insert a quarter to hear the whistle. I think insert a quarter for the end of the day.
There's an old sign. Look at the. Look at thirty cents for two eggs. What else you got here? Milk ten cents. Root beer ten cents. Look the Oliver typewriter. That's an old one. It's a barometer used in the Oliver test labs. It's cooler in here in the tractor area. It's warm. I was sweating. Here is a an old log cabin. Year 1853. Look at the fire. Please do not climb the ladder. I don't think I'd want to. the olden times so if you get a chance check out this museum it's five bucks to get in that's that's cheap entertainment bring the whole family